ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੀਐਸਐਲ ਕਿਤਾਬ 1B ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਪਾਜ਼ ਕਰਕੇ 1B ਦੀ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਲੈ ਆਓ ਨਾਲ ਪੈਨਸਲ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਕਲਰਸ ਲੈ ਆਣਾ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ so last time we worked on lesson 14 and you were supposed to take a, a spelling test with your parents i hope you took it je nahi liya te tusi zarur le lena theek hai aaj assi lesson number 15 karange <coughs> so har lesson de vich assi sirf kujh akharan de naal kaam karde ha kujh akharan nu jod ke assi shabd banane ha right we make words with um only a few uh, letters right and uh, these are actually quite a few letters so these are the letters you will uh, read them we will say their sound and you will circle them in the page um uh, and then we will make the words right okay let's go ahead and say sa sa s ka ka k ga ga g cha cha ch cha cha ch ta ka t ta ta t ta da t na 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 papa babab mamam ra ra r la la l w w w z z z and f f f f okay so leave your dental uh, you touch your teeth with your um lip so pause the video and circle all of these saying the letter name and saying the sound of it okay <clears throat> So now we will use these pentaclic letters in this lesson okay say the name and the sound again okay um so i won't say it right now but you will say it later on i don't want the lesson to become too long okay but these are the words we will learn so the words we will learn are barf chavar lasan nabs tart chamak sarf garam matter i know some 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 words are familiar you know some of the words and some words are new for you right you will learn all of them you will see pictures of them and you will know meanings of them okay now here are the syllables baraf chavar lasan nabas tarat chamak sarf garam matter okay and you were traced over them what do they mean they are they mean snow barf is snow or ice chavar is whisk lasan is garlic nabs is pulse you know doctor checks your pulse when you go there they want to see your heartbeat uh earth is earth we can say tarti we can say zameen we can say tart since we are learning mukta words i use the word tart chamak is a twig uh, you know a little cherry branch uh, that chinese people use chamak is a a little bit uh, twig small twig with some green leaves or some flowers surf is a detergent uh, garam is uh, warm or hot and matter is peas right so these are the 10 words we will learn okay and you will learn more but these are the ones we will have pictures for from nine actually and here are those words so you see barf you see matter chavar you know chavar we also call it chaur sahab we do chavar um on guru granth sahib ji okay have you been to gurdwara you've been to gurdwara you see a person whisking the chavar sahab right that's the chavar it can be white it can be yellow um it can be clear transparent uh earth this is your earth nubs here how you check your pulse this is a chamak i was telling you it's a little twig not a big branch but it's a, a little one surf um surf is very popular in india um to wash clothes garam this is garam garam chawl and lesson is garlic now some people love garlic lesson some people don't but they say garlic is really good for your health <clears throat> now you will read the words and you will copy each word here trace them over and then you can copy them okay so you will do that when we finish this lesson or you can pause the video and do it now here what are you supposed to do write the missing letters in the mukta words so here this word is supposed to be baraf what sounds missing r r matter matter what sounds missing t chavar what sounds missing v 
tarat, oh, tarat. Two sounds are missing, t and t. Two sounds are missing. N, buzz, n, b, buzz. What's missing? B, ch, muck, m, saraf, f, f, garam, r, r, l, sun, s. Okay, so you will fill those um, in there. Now you have to write the whole word. So first you read the word, then you trace the word, then you copy the word, then you wrote missing letters. Now you have to write the whole word yourself. And then that's how you're gonna learn the language, right? Now here are some more words, extra words, those nine words and extra words. Let's read them. Barf, chavar, lesson, nabaz, tart, chamak, surf, Garm, mutter. Now, these are new words. Gutter. You know gutter, right? When it rains outside of your house, the water goes in the gutter. Letter. Letter, putter. A letter is a nonsense word. It doesn't really have a meaning, but it rhymes with gutter. Letter, putter. When you say, I'm a letter, putter, nakar. Don't talk too much, right? Lamak. Lamak means to hang. Um, chapak is when somebody goes... Uh, Chapuk, chapuk ke pharna to um, tug on you, to grab you uh, roughly. So you are going to read these words again and separate them into different groups. Any words that have rara, they end with a rara, end with a kaka, and all other words. So you will write them all over here in your best handwriting. Take it. And then this is your homework. So here are the pictures, here are the words. You're going to read the words and connect them with the pictures. You know how to do this already. You've done 14 lessons. And this one's also the same thing. So these are the pictures, those are the words. You're going to connect them. And here's the fun part. Here are the same nine words are here. Actually, only eight are here. So you will circle those words and copy them on the lines um, under each one of those pictures. Take it. So that's what you will do today after we hang up. <coughs> this is the quiz. So you're going to read these pictures. A look at these pictures, read three words. One of them is the correct word. And you have to find which one is that correct word and you have to circle it. And then with your mommy and daddy, or da daddy or dada ji, or nani or nana ji, or big sister or big brother, you're going to take the spelling test with all of these words. Chica? So this was lesson number 15. And next time, we are going to do lesson number 16 exactly the same way. Thank you so much for working with me and continue working seven minutes a day. Make sure you read all the lessons you did earlier so that you can keep on becoming smarter and you won't forget Punjabi and don't forget to do part either. Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh.